Good morning, everybody. My name is Kevin Dorn. I'm the city manager here in South Burlington. I want to welcome you all to this very important announcement today. We are honored to have Governor Phil Scott here today to talk about a critical uh, new development in South Burlington that supports not only our new downtown city center, but also supports uh, affordable senior housing. Before I introduce the governor, I want to make a specific mention of our city council members here. Uh, Helen Rayleigh, our chair, who you will hear from in a moment. Megan Emery, one of our council members. Tim Barrett uh, in the back, uh, who has joined us today. Uh, we really appreciate all the support that our council provides to city center and to these vital projects. So with that, and Governor, knowing your schedule, um, I would like uh, to introduce Governor Phil Scott to uh, make an announcement. Thank you very much. Uh, great to be here in South Burlington to announce this $525,000 community development grant to help build 39 new units of affordable senior housing in the city's new city center neighborhood. The city of South Burlington, Cathedral Square, and Snyder Braverman Development will use these funds along with other state, federal, and local funds to build the first facility, a mixed-use building that will house seniors, provide services as part of a Vermont SASH program, support of, uh, and services at home, uh, and house small businesses on the first floor as well. This project, as well as the entire South Burlington City Center concept, exemplifies my goals as governor to make Vermont more affordable, grow our economy, and take care of the most vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> The best part of this project is that I believe we can replicate this throughout Vermont. First, I want to see more towns gain access to the development tool South Burlington is using to hold the public infrastructure uh, needed to attract private investment. That tool is uh, the TIFs, Tax Incremental Financing. South Burlington is one of seven statewide that can use this financing tool which allows uh, communities to use future property tax dollars generated by private development that would not have otherwise been uh, utilized. Current state law prohibits the creation of more TIF districts, and I have called for this law to be, cha to be changed and expanded, giving both urban and rural communities uh, across Vermont uh, access to this proven housing and economic development tool. I want to thank the senators who have worked on this uh, so far, uh, moving this proposal uh, forward. And now it's up to the uh, legislature to act so that communities like Bennington, Rutland, and Springfield have the same opportunities as South Burlington, Burlington, and St. Albans, where TIFs have created more housing options, more jobs, and have increased the grand list. Second, I am calling on the legislature to pass another bill that will reduce permitting barriers for the development of housing in our downtowns, villages, and designated growth centers. These new senior apartments will be in South Burlington's neighborhood development area, a state-designated program that recognizes the community's planning efforts. This allowed the project to avoid a repetitive Act 250 review. Without sacrificing our strong environmental standards, this saved tens of thousands of dollars and gave the developer a level of certainty they, can, they could uh, build where they wanted to build, where, what they wanted to build, without the fear of uh, years of legal battles uh, ensuing. Based on these benefits, I am calling for the expansion of this program, allowing for more priority housing projects to be built across the state faster and with less expense. S99 and S100 uh, both would help uh, reduce permitting uh, burdens for well-planned housing developments, expand the type of housing to include moderate income units, and create a new $35 million housing bond to invest in housing uh, developments across Vermont. I want to close today by congratulating the City of South Burlington, the voters of South Burlington, and the partners receiving this grant. If we do this right, we can leverage these federal dollars, which I want to thank Senator Leahy, Senator Sanders, and Congressman Welch for securing for us, into an exponential increase in the number of housing units and jobs we create right here in Vermont. So at this time, uh, we'd like to present the award. 
everyone associated with the project, you want to come up, Deepa Square, Kevin, Chris, the city. density, mixed use, publicly served downtown for South Burlington and for the region. The investment supports the construction of critical senior housing with wraparound services <coughs> provided by um, Cathedral Square. This investment by the state also augments the designation of city center as a tax increment financing district, which is absolutely essential to the realization of South Burlington and the state goals of supporting compact downtown development. Without the TIF district, Trader Joe's would not have been willing to invest so much in their building, Pier 1 would not have been built, and the 12 homes at the end of Market Street would not have been built. Snyder Braverman, without the TIF district plan to build roads, parks, a new library, and other infrastructure, would not see the South Burlington City Center as an attractive investment. Priority housing is critical to incentivize the construction of homes in places where the community wants people to live, work, and play. We strongly support the current priority housing legislation under consideration in Montpelier. Over 40 years ago, the community dreamed of building a community center. The conversations we have today about the future are possible because we have the TIF district as a tool and we are on the cusp of seeing a new downtown realized, the newest project being Cathedral Square. We want to thank Cathedral Square and Snyder Braverman in showing their confidence in our vision for city center and joining us in partnership to achieve that vision. Governor, on behalf of the entire city of South Burlington, thank you for this important investment in housing for our seniors. Thank you. Thanks. Next, I'd like to invite uh, Kim Fitzgerald, the CEO of Petita Square, up, whose team, including Cindy Reed, has been instrumental in getting this thing going. Thank you, Josh. So first and foremost, I want to acknowledge that we have some residents with us here today. So uh, I think we have at least five or six. I know we have Dave and Doug, and we have Patty and Bill and Don. Have I missed anybody? So these are all from our Grandway Commons residents. So we really, really appreciate you coming out today and supporting us. In addition, we have Marion here, who is a SASH participant as well. So really, really just appreciate you guys coming out and showing your support. And it's them than their peers around Vermont that we do this important work. And so again, thank you. Um, as Josh said, my name is Kim Fitzgerald. I'm the CEO for Cathedral Square. Cathedral Square owns, manages, and develops affordable housing for seniors and those with special needs. Cathedral Saint, the Cathedral Church of St. Paul's created us in 1977 with the mission of creating affordable service enriched housing. Now, 40 years later, we are tremendously excited to be part of this well-thought-out community at City Center, which also recognizes 
the need for more affordable senior housing. This location is going to be ideal for our residents. It's going to be close to medical services, uh, transportation, public transportation, and shopping. City Center Senior Housing will offer 39 apartments and affordable housing for seniors um, with, and it will include SASH, the award-winning um, care coordination program that stands for support and services at home. The um, evaluators, we've had third-party evaluators evaluating SASH and have found that on average we are saving Medicare dollars over $1,500 per year per participant um, with the SASH program and we are increasing health outcomes and quality of life. We also want to thank the governor for this award from the Vermont Community Development Program and for his support of Vermont Housing Conservation Board and for the $35 million bond that will help Vermont Housing Conservation Board and Vermont Community Development Program create more communities just like this throughout the state of Vermont. We, our incredible development team at Cathedral Square led by Cindy Reed, are looking forward to move forward this development with our development partners, Snyder Braverman Development Company and Peter People's United Bank, once we receive tax credit funding from Vermont Housing Finance Agency. <laughs> and we'd really like to thank the City of South Burlington. This will actually be our third property in South Burlington, and we really appreciate their tremendous support for affordable housing. Now more than ever, we need to protect federal housing programs like community uh, development block grants and home programs that allow us to pr produce communities like these. We appreciate the state and federal leadership that we are fortunate to have here in Vermont that work really hard to protect our most vulnerable Vermonters. The need for more senior affordable housing is at critical heights. Cathedral Square has over 800 people on our waiting list right now for just housing in Franklin and Jetton counties. The senior population in Vermont is just growing each and every year. We are currently the second oldest state in the nation and soon we will be the oldest. So it is more important than ever to have affordable housing with services for seniors. We are glad that the governor recognizes the urgency of this issue and the issue of affordable housing to grow Vermonters work, Vermont's workforce. He knows that as Vermonters move into housing like City Center Senior Housing, that will offer up affordable workforce housing. So thereby actually solving two issues at the same time, all in one. So again, we thank you, Governor, for your leadership in this area and for your support of SASH that now has over 5,000 participants around the state in all 14 counties. So thank you so very much. Next, I'd like to invite up the private uh, development partners here, Chris Schneider, Kevin Braverman from Schneider Development. Yep. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming uh, this morning, and uh, really I'm just here to say thank you uh, to uh, many people, including the governor and all of his team, uh, that helped uh, uh, get out the award today, but also all the time and effort uh, uh, spent on gathering all the information about all the different neighborhoods and projects uh, proposed uh, that they review. Um, we also need to say thank you to the City of South Burlington for their uh, attention and focus on uh, promoting affordable housing uh, and also working on the uh, city center uh, design and uh, with us uh, throughout the last uh, couple of years. And so very excited about seeing our first project uh, come to fruition. I know many people have talked about this for 40 years and we're excited to be a part of the building that will actually break that streak. Uh, so uh, we are very excited about that. Um, the one thing that I'd like to acknowledge too is that this is a public-private partnership um, and so Snyder Braverman is working with Cathedral Square and we are doing what's called a turnkey project and we design and build and then turn over the project uh, to Cathedral Square at the time of occupancy and that is a unique experience uh, for both Cathedral Square um, uh, and also for us working with them for our first time this is our third project uh, doing these turnkey projects and it's very, uh, we're, we're trying to unite uh, both the government and also the private developers in creating more housing. And that's really the goal of, the, uh, of, of this process and also of how we're partnering together. So thank you very much for coming today. Thank you all for all of your efforts. And we look forward to uh, uh, building the first building this year. Thank you.
what we can do and, and bringing people together and yeah. having mixed mixed housing, mixed use housing. I think it's a, it's a we become a family. Governor, your staff are beckoning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Governor, thank you and all of your team uh, and all whom attended today. Uh, this is the first announcement, I think, of many to come. So stay tuned for City Center. Thank you all for being here.